you have now said, hey, look, bringing the highest version of yourself in service of others Mm -hmm. is really the path. Can we get tactical for a moment? Help me get started. Yeah. What do I even do? Yeah. Where do I go? (laughs) Big problem. Big challenge. I totally get it. Um, You know, honestly, the first recommendation I always have is start looking for old happy. Like start paying attention to it and noticing it. Because that is the first step to awareness that can help you to make changes happen. And so, um, you know, the next time that you're, let's say like you're working at your job and you feel the sense of pressure to stay really late and push yourself to go above and beyond, just pause, kind of question that and be like, is that me who wants this? Is this something that's aligned to my goals and my desires and my ability to serve the world? Or is it a message I've received from old happy about the idea that I have to always be productive in order to be happy and starting to just question where it's showing up in your life and having it, having it be a framework that you can apply almost like a lens to look at the world through. Because what happened for me was that as soon as I put that lens on my, you know, attention camera, I, I started seeing it everywhere. And to this day, I'll be reading the news and I'll say like, Oh my God, like, look at this old happy Thing that's happening out here. And it's been a fundamental shift in my worldview to be able to recognize it. And so that's the first thing. And then from there, you can start to unwind those beliefs a little bit more. Um, and we can get into more of the detail on that. But really, we have to start with noticing its presence. 